Why hello there you sexy beast, I am Vadi1, welcome back to Nikopala. Now in the previous episode they kinda teased us, we were kinda expecting a hentai scene, especially when they teased us with the potential of there being a bath with our two lovely cat girls, and we were gonna sleep together in the same bed. So there were two events where there would be a hentai scene, but there wasn't. I mean, it didn't happen, these events. So yeah, they, they teased us, they teased us. Uh, they kind of wet our whistle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's continue on with the story, shall we? Alright, good night. If anything happens, uh, call me right away, eh, girls? Alright, alright, Chocola, I forgive you, you know. Uh, uh, who could resist you? God, you girls need, need to stop making those sad faces. You're making me feel all guilty and whatnot. I gently rub the heads of the two dispirited cat girls once more. Yes, rubbing their heads will make all of our worries disappear. See you in the morning. With that said, I turn the lights off in the room. Oh god, is something bothering you already? Alright, okay, we'll talk about it in the morning, Chocola, you know, when we get some nice rest and sleep and whatnot. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. Oh, come on, man. Why are you so weak? You gotta have like an iron fist against these girls because you don't want them to take advantage of you. Yes, I know these two girls. They're scheming. And their antics. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerful cheerfully. It's okay if it's just for one night. Don't worry about it. God damn it, what now? What now, Chocola? Jeez! Just go to sleep, you little cutie pie, you. Yes, now then, go to sleep. Yes, you two better not do anything naughty in the bed. I just have some clean sheets in there, you know. I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? You should not. Otherwise, they're gonna take advantage of you. They're gonna know your weakness. So if I'm a single guy living by myself, why the hell do we have so many chairs here? Hmm, and we have a big ass sofa, like we have a bunch of friends, but we're probably going to be a loner and otaku. Yes. I lay down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I give in in my emotions, exactly, exactly, if you give in, if you give in, they're gonna have you around their fingers. The result would just lead to more sadness. Oh. If I use kind or hopeful words, they would end up all as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. I know, Kasu, you don't want to be pa passive. You want to, you know, take charge. You want to be aggressive. You want to show the cat girls that you're the man, that you're going to be the one that's making the decision. Even though that did sound a little bit sexist and misogynist, but uh, hey, you know, you are watching me playing a hentai, <laughs> a hentai game, a visual novel. I mean, come on, what the hell do you expect? While I continue to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions, yes, I'm a fucking useless bastard. Yes. I close my eyes and I waited for sleep to take over. Ah, finally some sleep. Finally some shut eye. I bet I'm gonna wake up and there's gonna be like a cat girl right in my face or something. Ha, if Chocola was only a blanket. Hmm. There's a pretty big difference between a, uh, I can't read the text on this damn, um, what the hell is it? I think chapter or something? I don't know. Oh, that's my uh, sister, Sugure. I see, I see. But yeah, I can not expect it, like one of the girls or both of them to be like right in front of my face in the morning. Like doing something cute. 
or perverted or something. Wait, what? So if they agree to move, then you're gonna come pick them up? Man, screw that, I'm gonna like take them to you right now, little sister. Was what she told me when I f was finally able to get in was what she told me when I f was finally able to get in touch with her without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. What the hell are you talking about? She's your little sister. How is she able to control you? How is she able to like set the rules, huh? Come on now. Your big brother. Alright, but uh, Suger but Sugure, uh, even if you say that I don't think Chocola and Vanilla will... Wait, what the fuck? Would you whisper this morning sweet nothings to your sister? Whoa, what the hell is going on there? Is it like a kiss on the cheek or something? Or is, are, are we gonna whisper something naughty into my little sister's ear? Yeah, it's still make it sound like a daily ritual or something. God damn, they do it every day? Wow, they've been busy. In any case... Oh, so we do have parents, so we do have a father and probably a mother. Okay, interesting. So why is Sugure uh, making all the shots? Why not the dad? You know what, Suguri? Give me dad right now. I'm sure she's gonna come and pick up these two sexy, cute cat girls. I'm, I'm sure she he's, he's, he misses them. Yes. Goddamn little sister. Uh, 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 wait, 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 Suguri! So, seriously? As the ruthless electronic buzz of the drop call echoed, I stared at my cell phone. And here I thought that I could sort this all out if I could just talk to Sugure. Oh, yes, you're enjoying the eggs and sausages that I made? Yes, you need plenty of protein, huh? Yes, all that good egg and meat gives you lots of energy for... The day, yes. I do like sausage links in the morning though. Yes, I like all kinds of sausages. You know, no homo or anything, but yeah, I, I do. I, even though it's kind of processed and un unhealthy and salty. Ah, yes, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yes, I will, I will give you some, some every day. Some nice... Protein rich breakfast with my special sauce! Ha 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 ha! Ketchup? What ketchup? Yes. Pelo, pelo, what? I don't know. I think there's something going on with the two sisters. Hmm, yes. The cat girls in questions were happily stuffing, <laughs> stuffing, them, uh, stuffing themselves with sandwiches. Yes, I told you guys, a Vadiwa sandwich. <laughs> These sandwiches incidentally contain tomato, cheese, and lettuce. Okay, so what's the meat? Bologna, ham, turkey? With an over easy fried eggs tucked inside all of that, it was a simple meal. Yes, I like to fry their eggs, if you know what I mean. No? Yes? Ah, I'm just kidding, that, that, that was just a poor attempt. Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? And you know, it's all daytime and, you know, it's probably safe out there. God damn it, didn't we already, like, Talk about this last night that you're only staying here for one day for tonight. Yes, 
Yes, I'm, I'm sure you're you're quite a lot of fun, but you know, I, I get tired doing this every day, every night. I, I, I just can't handle it. Was I looking forward to it? Yeah, I, did, I guess I was, and I'm betting you guys were as well. Looking forward to that hentai scene. Yes, I know we all were. Stop with the deliberately misleading words. Yes, trying to make me, trying to make me look bad, trying to make me look perverted. The fuck is that sound? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I sighed at her happily-go-lucky mindset. I took the opportunity to fill their empty glasses with milk. Yes, milk. Quote unquote milk. We all know what kind of milk that is. Some man milk. Not that kind of man milk. The other man milk. Okay, whatever. That's a failed. Another failed joke. Okay, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> the eating habits were, of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans. So that was straightforward. So you're telling me that there are no foods that humans eat all the time that won't kill cat girls? I mean, I have a dog. I don't know if you guys know, you know, I do have Wawa and she can't really, you know, she can't eat grapes, she can't eat onions, otherwise like her kidneys explode or something like that. So cats don't have something like that? I mean, it, it, it would be a shame if I gave them some onions and their kidneys explode or something. Of course, uh, what they like and dislike depended on each individual cat girl. Okay, so I, you know, I, I did kind of thought that the cat girls' diets consist of uh, mostly protein, if you know what I mean. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Because of the stupid cat girls always in my way. Today, I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening too. Yes, bakery. And that's why I don't really have time to play with you two. So be good girls and go home. Yes. We don't need you two around here, you troublemakers, you young whippersnappers. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. Okay, what's so significant about that? <laughs> Huh, you know what? I do have an idea. Maybe we could put them to work. Maybe they could be like a waitress at my bakery or something. Oh, we could have like a maid cafe. Oh, one of those anime cafes. Yeah, see, they're gonna cater to all of those horny otakus, right? Yes, 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 go forth my lovelies. Work for nothing. Since you are my slaves, and I'm your master. She put her sandwich down on her plate. And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. So, so this. Uh, what's up with the music? Her shoulders droop more than before. The ears which sat on top of her head drooped downward, down heartily as well. Oh. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla could only look on with concern. Ah, oh, come on, it's, like, it's not like this is like some life and death situation. I just want them to go home. Alright, fine, now, you know, I'll come home during the weekends and visit you two girls, huh? Jeez. Oh my god, are they really gone for good? Well, we all know that there aren't since they are the main characters of this game. The pain from last night. From jacking off on the sofa by myself. Yeah, those were some dry times, all right. The pain, the blistering. Pricked at my heart again. And my penis. I tilted the already cold coffee cup. As my emotions dull, unimpeded by my judgment. Oh boy, looks like I'm gonna give in or something. 
What the fuck? What's going on here? Is she gonna like pull out a knife and stab me or something? She, is that what she's gonna do? I know, I know, but you two girls, this is a hassle. And what if I wanted a normal girl, huh? What if I wanted a normal girl and, you know, I brought her home and they see you two kind of naked walking around? What would that, what, what kind of impressions would that get? Her usually always perky ears were drooping. Chocola was speaking clearly under her own volition. Fucking A, Vanilla. Think for yourself. Don't always let your sisters make all the decisions for you two. Come on, Vanilla. You're a big girl. You're twin sisters, right? <sighs> okay, alright. I guess I'll let you two girls stay because that's obviously what's gonna happen. Vanilla's usually blank expression did not change. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, it's, her expression really doesn't really change that much, aside from that one time. However, she showed me her strong determination. Oh yes, these are some lovely drawings. I really like the art styles, this is so cheerful, even when the Kakuros are sad, it just makes me happy. Just by looking at them. Hmm. I don't remember Chocola or Vanilla ever being this disobedient. I'm guessing they kind of miss, you know, miss Master's dick or something. As I'm getting a little bit vulgar in this episode, saying dick and penis. That thought stayed at the back of my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That? Understood? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Okay, who is it? It must be some cute girl or something. Who is it? Cute girl? Cute girl? Who is it? What the fuck? Oh, okay. So it looks like um I bought something from this tableware seller. What the hell is a tableware seller? Is that like uh, selling dishes or is that like selling like tables? Oh, so it's like dishes and teacups and cups. Okay, cool. Alright, we can have like a ho Hokagu uh, tea time. Like K-On! Anyone watch K-On? Anyone? K any K-On fans here? Oh uh, yes, I think one of my uh, top waifus is Akiyama Mio, the bass player in that anime. Yes, indeed. Uh huh. It sounds like he, she has a very cute voice. Nah, no, come on, game. Let, let us see who this tableware, tableware seller is. She smiled brightly and brought out the invoice along with a pen. Aw, oh, I, I kind of want, want to see her smile. Alright, alright, let's see, let's see. I looked over at the sales invoice. I received once more. Yes, we gotta make sure that they don't rip us off or something. So I'm guessing, you know, uh, this big open area at the bottom is where the people buy their baked goods and their tea and their coffee and they go over to the middle of the screen to eat. Huh, oh, cute. Somehow this doesn't really look like what I ordered. <laughs> yes, Deska. So, Deska. That's exactly what I'm saying. No, the stuff I order is in here too, but... What, we got something extra? Damn, why do you have to say something, Kashu? If we got something extra, we shouldn't have said something. We would have gotten some free stuff. 
I looked over a pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside of my tiny bakery was a mountain of boxes. A mountain! Oh yes, there certainly was a mountain. There's lots of twin peaks if you know what I mean. You know, we have two big twin peaks and two small twin peaks. <laughs> oh boy. It was af it was as if the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. But I wouldn't mind, you know, keeping all these boxes. I mean, come on, it's free. It's not like it's my fault that you guys made a mistake. Alright. Alright, go ahead, call your boss. So what was the point of this? Anyways, <laughs> No, 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 you know, no worries, just that, you know, you're kind of like holding back my opening of my big Okay, how are you gonna correct this, huh? What are you gonna do? Mr. Minaduki. Is that my last name? Oh, okay, Minaduki. Like Dookie, like uh, from Star Wars, right? What the hell was that guy's name? Uh, Darth Dookie? Dooku? Oh, wait, that's Dooku. <laughs> so, are you gonna give me all of this extra stuff? Is that what you're saying? Accept this order? Huh? From all this? The mountain of cardboard boxes towered over everything. I was at a loss for words. Well, you know, we could turn a bad situation into a good one. Maybe we could, uh, oh, I don't know, um, uh, give out like a free tea set for purchases over like $50 or something. I don't know. Every box was of equal size. I wouldn't really know what was inside each of them without opening them up. What? <laughs> I bet there, there are like some cat girls in those boxes too. Okay, on top of that, looking at the sales invoice, I could see that they all contain expensive tea sets, uh, tea sets and tableware. If I accept it at all, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Um, there are still things that I need doing in advance of my bakery's opening, so I don't really mind accepting these. But it's gonna take a while to deal with all this. Well, you damn straight you you're you're gonna help us since it's your mistake. Oh okay, okay, I see how it is. You're just gonna leave us, huh? You're gonna ditch us. Look, you don't you don't need to put all this pressure on me. From the looks of it, it would take two hours or more. But to have it re-delivered would take double the effort too. Okay, okay, so where is this going? I mean, we haven't... There's no sexy pictures, there's no cute cat girls, or there, there's no cute regular girls. What's happening here? Hmm? Uh, oh. <laughs> D Firing your laser beam at me, huh? Your death stairs. Look at them. They're planning my deaths right now. Yes. That's right, I have a lifeline! Nandeska? Nandeska? Nandeska indeed. What? What's happening? So, how did the cat girls help? Did, did they help uh, the delivery... Did they help the tableware seller, like, move the stuff? Or did they help me look at all of the stuff in the boxes? Yeah, I'm not never buying from you guys ever again. Making such a big mess up.
Oh man, I'm I'm kind of exhausted. I glanced at the table where we had finished organizing, lowered myself into a chair, and relaxed my shoulders. Oh, look at that bounciness! Oh, oh, look at that bounciness! Oh, man, I I, I have a feeling that my cafe would be very successful, especially when they served their tea while their boobs are bouncing. Yes. Hey, sir. Would, would you like some milk with that? Some nice cat milk? Ah, just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, have you guys eaten, like, breast milk? Ice cream or something like that? I don't know how would that taste. I think... I don't know. It, it's... it's uh, 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 on one hand, it's kind of nasty. On the other hand, and I'm kind of curious. Would you guys eat breast milk ice cream if you had to? If, if you were able to. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Chocola. Don't mind if I do. I downed a cold tea in one gulp. Somehow or another, the light meal tableware had arrived. Soon, I really had to get the bakery ready for its opening. I did say I needed any help I could find. And I'm guessing this is the reason why they we're keeping the cat girls around. Because they're going to be my helpers. And I really did need help this time. Mm? <laughs> Alright, you know what? Uh, I think this might be a good place to pause. I invite about hope you sexy beasts enjoy this episode of Nico Pala. So again, I would like to ask you sexy beast, would you eat some breast milk ice cream? Are you curious? Hmm? Nah, okay, anyways, let me know in the comment section below. Well then, I'm very well, hope you sexy beast enjoy this episode of Niku Pala, and yes, we haven't had any hentai scenes yet. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.